Uh, Tyson, we wanted to have you come on to talk about Nate Landman in particular with the National Player of the Week on and then being named a Butkus semifinalist. So if you want to open up with a couple of quick comments, we'll take a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, Nate's a veteran player who's, uh, who's playing really well for us right now. He's, uh, he's worked extremely hard this offseason and, uh, and trying to improve his game. And uh, I think one of the things that we noticed early on as a defensive staff and, uh, and a lot of our coaches with their background and their pedigree, being able to notice what a dynamic player he was through camp and, uh, and being able to notice the leadership qualities he has and the communicator that he is. Um, and he helps our defense all the way around. He brings a calming sense to everyone because of his understanding and his knowledge of the defense and the opponent that we play each week. Uh, San Diego State, who we played this past weekend, you know, has won five of their last six uh, games versus Pac-12 opponents. They're known for being able to run the ball, and uh, and we knew we needed to be strong down the middle. And uh, to do that, we were able to, to put Nate in some good situations, but he played downhill, he played aggressive, he communicated very well. And, uh, and, you know, he's a, he's a, he is, he's a, he's a fantastic person to be able to coach. And, um, and as we move on, he's really, he's playing, he's playing at a high level. He's worked really hard to improve a lot of his fundamentals. He's worked really hard to improve um, in a lot of different areas that he and I have discussed, you know, individually through the off season. And uh, he's playing really well. Okay, first question is from Brian Hell. Hey, Tyson, uh, you know, Nate was obviously a pretty good player before you got here, but you've had a chance to be here now a couple years with him. Where have you seen him get better from the time you arrived to right now? Well, I think uh, I think what you see in him is somebody that's able to play, you know, outside of the box and in the perimeter better. I think he's had drastic improvements in that. Uh, when you look at his film from a sophomore year, you see obviously a guy that's able to uh, to be explosive and uh, and somebody that's able to play in the box well and play very effectively versus the run. Uh, but what I've been able to, to see, and, and particularly this year, is just uh, how well he's executing in space and how well he's executing when it comes to coverage. And I think he's drastically improved as a pass rusher as well. Great. Anyone else have a question for Tyson? We've got another Dave if nobody's going to ask a question. But uh, Tyson, just your thoughts of looking at Arizona's offense and um, how glad are you Khalil Tate's not here anymore, but uh, what do you see out of them as, as you look at the Wildcats? Well, I see a good offense. You know, I, th I think obviously Noel Mazzoni and, and Kevin Sumlin, the offense that they've been able to put together, and, and if you're able to look at their resume and their history and their development when it comes to quarterbacks, running backs, skilled players across the board, and, uh, and I think they do a good job. They, they spread you from sideline to sideline, and um, they've got good players. And uh, obviously, you know the quarterback and, and his situation. We'll see how we'll see how it plays out for him on on Saturday. And uh, but I know no matter who's back there, they're going to have a good plan. Uh, Noel always does a good job, and uh, somebody that I've been impressed with for a long time. And I know Coach Sumlin is, you know, one of the one of the top guys again at being able to to throw the ball and be able to create mismatches on people. So. Uh, as we get moving forward again, we're still kind of in our in our process and our phase of of evaluating those guys today on a Monday, and uh, you know we'll have to we'll have to go play at our best. Neil Welk. Hey Tyson, uh, just curious with all the things you mentioned about Nate Landman's improvement as far as uh, being on the perimeter, pass rush skills, things like that. Is he a guy that you can continue to to design? Uh, more things for him to do to have an impact on a game? I think so. I, and and I'll, I'll tell you just a, a quick story when it comes to, to Nate Lamb. And, and, uh, and again, he's somebody that I, I have a lot of respect for as both a player and as a person. But he's uh, – so, you know, we find out last week on Thursday – that, uh, that obviously, you know, the, the USC game wasn't going to be able to work out and the San Diego State game was going to happen. And uh, when I get to the office, he's already there watching film, getting ready, questions. And, uh, and, and if that tells you anything about a young man that, you know, at 6.37 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day is already getting prepared uh, for any information that he can have, uh, he is a, he's a, and again, from a, from a coaching standpoint, that's what you love. You love the guys that, that, that eat it up, that enjoy it, that want to understand every part of it. And he knew his preparation needed to be correct in a short amount of time for prep. Uh, in that week, you know, the, the, the personal story that comes behind him is, uh, you know, this summer he had asked me, <clears throat> excuse me, 
question about my family and uh, and my three sons, and it, it does my heart good because my oldest son is uh, is uh, he'd like to consider himself to be a, a fantastic fisherman. I don't know if I would take it that far, but he is a a good fisherman. And uh, and I was telling him we were having a hard time, just you know me having time and him being able to find spots to go. Nate said, "Coach, drop him by the house, and I promise you, I'll take him for five or six hours, and we will catch a bunch of fish." And uh, there's not many young men like that that are that good of people. Um, and he, t- he did, he took my son, Jake and, uh, and my son, Jake caught about 22 fish that day. And, uh, I'll just say this, his daddy's never caught 22 fish combined with him. So, uh, so Nate Lamman gets a lot of props from me at, at home and in, uh, and in the film room. But, uh, I think we can continue to build our defense, obviously around a number of good players that we have. We continue to improve week in and week out and, uh, and Nate and his communication and his understanding of the defense is a, is a big piece of that. Fish, by the way, he's a good fisherman. So what kind of fish did he catch? I have no idea. I was working, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one from Brian Hell. First off, I like how you said about twenty-two, which means Jake's told you that number a lot. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I want to ask you about Curtis Appleton. We saw him get the interception at the end, but he, he made a couple of nice plays before that as well. Um, how has he developed into a guy that can actually help you guys on defense and, and be a guy that can play maybe a bigger role as, you know, guys like Chris Miller have gone out and some injuries have happened? Uh, Curtis continues to work. Curtis continues to, to improve, and, and obviously Coach Max, he's done a, a great job with his development this year, uh, but I give Curtis a lot of credit. He, is, uh, he works extremely hard every day. He's going to be one of the first people in the building. Uh, he's going to be one of the, the last ones in watching film, uh, and he has worked at the reps that he's been able to take in the time that I've been here. Uh, he's improved each time, and he's a guy for us right now that, that is – uh, extremely valuable because one, he's able to go into games and like you said, he had a he had a pass breakup earlier in the game, played well in some man coverage, and then was able to really between uh, Jeremiah Doss Doss with a with a great rush at the end of the game, and then you know really creating the takeaway and Curtis being able to get his hands on it and finish the game for us. Uh, but Curtis's development is is you know primarily based on Curtis, which is again his work ethic, his attention to detail, his intelligence. And uh, and he's he's doing really well for us, and he is a, a key member of our defense at this point. Hey, Tyson, thanks for taking a few minutes out to join us. Okay, thank you all so much. Hope you all have a great one.